Hi there, I'm Java Jim, and today we're going to go over how to change the dispersion screen and the portafilter gasket on the Lalit Bianca. It is about 18 months now we've had the prototype in our showroom making thousands of cups of espresso, cappuccino, lattes, and 18 months we haven't even changed the gasket yet. We've been actually trying to test the Bianca and push it to its limits with no water softening cartridge and also not changing the gaskets and the dispersion screen. We're actually trying to break the unit because we got a free prototype from Lalit when we were testing it. And the thing is still going strong. The only thing we haven't done is thrown it out the window. So we're gonna go over how to change the gasket and the dispersion screen, which you should do every roughly six to 12 months, depending on usage. If you're leaving your machine on longer throughout the day, change it more often. If you're making more espresso, cappuccinos, change it more often, closer to six months. If it's less use, then you can go 12 months. And the reason why we say this is because the gasket can harden like a rock and cake up into the uh, group head. So we want to make sure more frequently and just about right. I would not recommend 18 months. I would not recommend using the machine without a filtration system, uh, the one included by Lily for the tank or a separate one on the outside for plumbing in. So we're going to hop in there right to it. Uh, we'll go over the tools that you should have on hand uh, and then we'll just go through the process and hopefully it's as easy for you as it is for me. So here we have a first line competition screen that we'll be inserting. Uh, the part number will be listed below. We also have, if you want the basic one, it's F277. Uh, there are two gaskets. The recommended is eight millimeters by Lalit. Uh, we also have that, and we have an 8.5 millimeter. If the group head starts getting worn over time, sometimes you need to put a little thicker gas or gasket 8.5 millimeters. Uh, we do have cotton swabs here. Uh, this is not for my ears, but for the machine's group head. We also have a screwdriver, and this is the favorite tool used by our technicians here at First Line. As you can see, it's busted up. And the reason is because sometimes the gasket can get caked or frozen uh, inside the group head and you basically need a screwdriver and then the hammer to start chiseling it out. Uh, I've been involved in some of those cases with the techs and it ain't a pretty picture. That's why we want to change that gasket every six to 12 months. It makes it so much easier uh, when you change it more often. So we'll go into the next step here and we'll show you how easy it is. If it comes out nice and easy, you'll see, you can just take your regular screwdriver and just pry on the dispersion screen and try to pull it down. And if you look here, there's a lot of buildup. Not good. Okay, if you see the gasket, which has been here for 18 months, it's actually worn. So, more back flushing is needed by my staff here. We use this machine so much uh, that many even forget. And then you take the cotton swabs. That's the purpose here is to basically clean the groove up in here. Okay, and then you'll take the dispersion screen and the gasket. I like to put the shiny side down, put it inserted here. Like the bevel, is little bevels right there, and then just insert. And then you may need a short stubby or you can get a screwdriver and just prop it up a little bit into the groove. Okay, and then the next step is once you get that in, you'll take the portafilter and lock it in all the way. And then uh, if you do have some other uh, stuff that's up in there, you can also back flush it out, it'll go out the other way. And that's pretty much it, very simple. Well, we hope you enjoyed the video changing the dispersion screen and the portafilter gasket on the Lalit Bianca Espresso Machine. Please subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up below, and if you have any questions, comments, please put them down below and we'll be happy to respond to you. Thank you for watching and have a great day.